Good morning, Randy. We're, you're in uh, the Denver area. That's correct, Jack. Uh, thanks uh, so much for having having me on today. It's great to see you. Uh, same, uh, Randy. I've been reading in the newspapers that that you, uh, Synchron Corporation, uh, uh, it, it advanced their uh, agreement with with your company to buy forty nine percent, and and has completed that uh, purchase. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, Jack. Uh, give you a little bit of background on it. Back in October of 2017, uh, Syncron, which, as you know, is an affiliate of General Atomics, a large private uh, defense contractor technology company, uh, made an investment uh, in rare element resources to acquire about 33% of ownership of the company. At the time, they also um, we also provided a an option uh, to acquire up to 49% of the company uh, for an additional $5 million. And that option uh, lasted for about four years. Uh, however, uh, we're uh, happy to say that uh, Synchron has decided to uh, exercise its option two years earlier than that four-year period. Uh, would you would you like to comment on why they advanced that time, or would you like me to speculate? <laughs> well, I, I, I'll give you a, a, a brief answer. I, I do believe that um, uh, the work that we've been doing over the past uh, year or two, uh, working with another uh, uh, General Atomics affiliate uh, in, in Germany to uh, confirm and enhance and improve our processing technology, um, that work has been going well, and we've moved, progressed it now to pilot plant stage, and that's all happening right now. I, I think I think the other reason you can uh, uh, speculate would be that uh, you know General Atomics is a technology company, and if you go to their website and look around uh, to see all of the different kinds of businesses they're in, uh, they really have a, a foot in the future. Uh, and and hopefully, uh, clearly, they think the rare earth business has something to do or will contribute to the future uh, of the development of uh, economies around the globe. Well, uh, my speculation, that's correct, but my speculation goes a little in, more into detail. I know that General Atomics, for example, is the contractor for the rail gun, the electromagnetic uh, cannon that the Navy hopes will replace uh, gunpowder type uh, weapons on, on their ships. And it is also very much involved in the uh, catapults for aircraft carriers, both of which are, are enormous electromagnet projects. And I always tell people, they say, well, what's electromagnets got to do with rare earth permanent magnets? I say, well, let's, let's look at it this way. $105 million F-35 is going down the deck of the of the Gerald Ford, and the power system fails. So do we have $105 million worth of junk in a dead pilot, or do we have rare, giant rare earth permanent magnets that are rolling along and making sure that the plane can safely be brought down? Well, that's how it works. Same thing with, with the rail gun. We, uh, you can't depend on electromagnetic uh, operations, so you always have to have back up a permanent magnet. The Navy also is uh, telling us publicly they're going to use three and four tons of rare earth magnets per, per warship from now on in the drivetrain. Uh, mm -hmm. And so uh, General Atomics is very much involved in all of this stuff. And uh, I have a question about, uh, so going back to the reality, I have a question about something you're doing. I'm familiar with the General Atomics uh, research and development systems in Germany. There's about 600 people there, uh, mm -hmm. and the managers are all long-experienced PhDs in, in physics and physical sciences. And uh, my question is, I recall from our past association, that you had an internal development of a solvent extraction separation system at the company, uh, more or less fully developed uh, two years ago. Is that the system that's being tried out by Synchron, if you can tell me? Uh, by, uh, I'd, I'd be happy to expand on that, Jack. That's a, that's a great question. Um, you, you know, there were there really are two parts to the proprietary technology that we developed. And the first 
was the the leach precipitation technology and the ability to produce this 98 to 99 percent uh, mixed rare earth concentrate. Mm. Uh, and, and and of course that was such a high grade concentrate that we decided that we would take a look at uh, moving uh, into the separation side of things. And and um, uh, back in 2014 and a little bit into 2015, we were doing uh, the initial test work and and initial pilot plant testing, although at a small scale, of the uh, solvent extraction uh, process that we had uh, uh, developed over the previous year or two. Uh, that is exactly the same technology that UIT has uh, confirmed uh, mm -hmm. for us and is piloting now. <clears throat> I would say one other important thing, and, and again, it goes back to uh, how important having a great uh, partner is in this business, and, and that is, uh, uh, as you mentioned, uh, UIT in Germany, uh, great PhD scientists, knowledgeable about extraction, liquid-liquid uh, extraction, liquid-solid extraction. And and they uh, not only have confirmed the technology, but they've made some contributions to improving the technology uh, I'm, I'm that sure. we'll probably report on in the, in the not-too-distant future. Uh, well, that, you know, you're, you're basically in, in, in the lead of the pack, uh, Randy, because in fact, any rare earth producer or, or in, in development that doesn't have strong connections, that doesn't have strong connections downstream in processing and the rest of the supply chain is just out of luck. And, and I think that your combination of, of your mind, which as you know, I think is, an, is probably, uh, in my opinion, uh, about the best uh, deposit in the United States for development, uh, that combination with a super technology company like like General Atomics, which because it's private, the public isn't aware of, of all the things they do. I don't know anything General Atomics does that isn't high tech. I assume they I assume they have high tech bathrooms in, in their headquarters. I don't know, but yeah. I mean very high tech. So it's an excellent combination. You have an excellent deposit, and uh, I just uh, in in checking on your website, I see that Jay Pickert is is still with you. And uh, I, in a previous conversation, you told me he was monitoring this these developments in Germany on on site. Yeah, that that that's correct, uh, uh, Jack. You know we've uh, we've tried to be be very good stewards of our uh, shareholders' uh, funds over the last uh, four or five years, mm -hmm. particularly the, during the down uh, time. Uh, and and we we during that period we cut back quite uh, strongly to preserve the cash as much as we could, mm -hmm. but we've been very fortunate in that um, um, three or four of the key employees who uh, were actively involved, including Jay and some others, uh, have stayed with us, mm -hmm. uh, and we've been able to provide. Uh, uh, additional consulting work as we uh, went through the process of updating, for example, our our baseline environmental data in 2018, uh, as well as uh, participating and monitoring in the uh, in the development of the process technology. Well, I, I think that, quite frankly, you're way ahead of everybody else, Randy, uh, in, in the United States, is what I'm saying, and I I, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, and I, I know it, I, uh, I, I don't want to say something foolish, like, you know, you came back from the dead, but, <laughs> but, but what you, you flew, you flew under the radar, Randy. And, and I really we, wasn't, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. We, we prefer the term fly under the radar, Jack. I got it. I got it. You know, but, we, but the, we don't it's, put my a, a press it's my fault. It's my fault. You were never dead. You were just resting. Okay. <laughs> So, so uh, I have experience, obviously, with your your very fine company and with General Atomics, and uh, that's a cracker jack uh, combination. And and I think you've flown under the radar of the some people in the Department of Defense, but I think that's changing very very rapidly. Uh, so again. I, I want to keep in touch because I want to know what you're doing. And Randy, you're one of the good 
guys, you, you'd be an excellent uh, CIA guy because you never give anything away. I, I, you know, even when you've had one or two drinks, I can't get any, I can't get anything out of you. So thank you. And, and please keep, keep us informed on what's going on because I'm sure that Rare Element Resources is back to stay. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate the opportunity.